Okay, so it's worth wandering outside this evening and, and looking upwards to check it out by the sounds of it. Look, as we know, there are plenty of mysteries in space, Fred, but scientists announced another one last week. It involves the curious case of a massive planet orbiting a tiny, tiny star. What do you suspect is going on there? <laughs> well, that's a good question. And uh, there's several, uh, already several scientific papers which are uh, basically all about trying to explain that. Yes, exactly as you said, it's a star which is small. It's called a red dwarf star. It's only about 20% of the mass of the sun. And yet it seems to have created a giant planet around it, um, smaller than the star itself, but still much bigger than anything we've ever found around one of these uh, dwarf stars before. Uh, this planet rejoices in the marvellous name of TOI, 6894b. Uh, we are always full of glamorous names for these objects, uh, but it's uh, curious for a number of reasons. It's very close to its parent star. It orbits only in three days, uh, our time, um, but the oddity is that it's cool. Most of these things so close to their parent star are very hot. We call them hot Jupiters because that's what they uh, look like. But this one's cool. It's only about 150 Celsius. That's very, very cool by planetary atmosphere standards. And in other news, for many years, scientists have been predicting that the Milky Way would one day collide with the Andromeda Galaxy. <laughs> now they're not so sure. Why is that? Yeah, that's right. So we can all breathe easily because, um, well, the prediction has been for many years that in about three and a half billion years time, our galaxy will collide with the nearest neighbour galaxy, which currently is about two and a half million light years away. But we are on a collision course at a speed of 110 kilometres per second, uh, which sounds fearsome, but the distance between us is great. What's happened is that um, more measurements have been made of uh, the, the Andromeda galaxy itself, uh, which seem to suggest that, well, it doesn't have a kind of sideways motion. We know it's coming towards us, but we don't know whether it's swerving one side or the other. But the new research looks at other galaxies in our, what we call the local group, a parochial name for about two dozen galaxies in our neighbourhood. And there are a couple of relatively big ones whose gravity might well cause the Andromeda galaxy to take a swerve rather than uh, smacking us in the face in three and a half billion years. So I'm sure all your viewers will be very happy to hear that news. Yes, very good indeed. Just a few billion years away. Perhaps we didn't need to worry too much about that one after all. Fred Watson, <laughs> really appreciate you sharing your expertise with us again. Thank you. No worries. Thanks very much, Ash.